Hello guys. This is a reading to see who is this person. You know who I'm talking about. The person that is in your energy. Okay. So we're going to get started with some Romance Angels cards. And this reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Huh. I'm trying to feel it. Okay, there's one. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So, past person. Somebody that you may have known before in a past life even. For some of you. Hmm. Oh, okay. So that one wanted to come out. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Very to the point. I want that one. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Take your hands off of it. Okay. Not try to control the outcome. Okay, one more card. Okay, let's do that one. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Okay, I like it so far. So I'm going to use the vice versa tarot. There are images on either side. So, and I know you can't see me, but when I usually shuffle these and pull these, my eyes are closed. So I can't see until I actually open my eyes what I pulled okay so let's see who is this person who is this person okay the magician this is somebody I feel like that's working behind the scenes um, this may be somebody that is definitely like a past life um, situation with you that was in a past life situation with you uh, and you, this person may seem very, very familiar to you. And there's something that you can't quite put your finger on, but you feel like you've known them before. They feel very familiar to you. Virgo, Gemini, um, I feel Scorpio energy as well here. Hmm. Somebody's working behind the scenes that you don't know about. Then we have the Knight of Cups. This person, yeah, this is somebody that you've known before. You've known this person before. I feel a strong Scorpio energy. They know what to do, how to do it, when to do it. I feel like divine timing is at play here. And I feel like it's really not time for this person to make an appearance or reappear in your life. But they definitely love you. I feel like this person, uh, for some reason, walked away from you. Or there were really, really tough times with this person. Sometimes you felt like they loved you. Sometimes you felt like they didn't. Um, depending on the day of the week. Maybe they were a little flighty. <clears throat> Hmm. And we have a sign. But it's on the opposite side. Huh. I feel like there's um there's something that they're hiding from you. There's something that you cannot see. Uh it's almost like there's a veil. There's a veil. And it's like they really don't want their sensitive side to really show. I do feel like there's some there's something that feels really humble about this person, though. They may come across really cocky. But there's something really humble about them that they don't want you to see. There's something about them that they don't want you to see. And other people, too. I guess that's for fear of coming across as weak. Okay. And then we have the chariot on the reverse side. The chariot on the front side is somebody that's coming in and they're all about themselves. But I feel like if you were with this person before, and this is cancer energy, 
Um, if you were with them before, then this is somebody that left you to, perf I hate the word, words left you. They left in order to pursue something on their own. But I feel like they really didn't have um, a specific plan. I think when, when things get too hairy for them, they leave and, and not even really know exactly what, where they're going or what they're doing. I don't, I don't think there's anyone else involved in this situation, but when things, they, they avoid tough conversations, tough situations, um, instead of staying and working them out is a thing here. Leo energies here could be another cancer like you guys. Scorpio energy. Hmm. Let's get some clarification here. <clears throat> Six of Swords. Aquarius energy. Huh. This person likes to say face a lot of the times, I feel. They do a lot of things to save face. They don't. They don't like to have really in-depth conversations. Um, everything they do uh, seems on the surface, kind of superficial to you. But I get that they do that because they they don't want to rock the boat. They don't want to um, make things too serious. Six of Cups here. This is soulmate energy. This is your soulmate. Sixes are all about balance and harmony. They really just like to keep the peace. They want to keep, you know, the emotions in check. They want to keep the conversation, the 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 mental engagement at a minimum. But this is definitely your soulmate, this person. I feel strong Scorpio energy here. For a lot of you. Seven of Cups. That Scorpio energy. Very humble. Um, I, I feel like this person is confused about what it is that they want. And how to approach it. How they feel about it. They're not happy. They're not happy, that Four of Cups energy. They're not happy. They're not bouncing off the walls. They want to be happy, and they see happiness with you. But there's, they need to let go of, of trying to control the situation to go the way that they want it to go. Or to, like, save faith. They need to step out on faith is, is the thing here. They're trying to be a little too safe. Because of this Four of Cups on top of um, the Chariot energy here, this is um, this is like when when they feel like things are getting too serious, then they they leave or they left. But I see them missing you. I definitely see them missing you. Okay, let's see what they really want with you guys here. What do they want with Cancer? What do they want with cancer? Okay, there's one. Get one more. What do they want with cancer? These cards are a handful. What do they want with cancer? What do they want with cancer? I'm going to get this one. It's not that one. It's this one. What do they want with you? Oh, we have three cards here. Spear. Heartache over what you no longer have. This person wants to make amends. They miss you because they don't have you anymore. Toward us, slowly but surely getting ahead. They're coming around. They want to come around. Wishbone. A wish is granted. I feel like this person is hopeful that, you know, 
they're hurting over not being with you but they're hoping that when when the time is right that you guys will accept them and accept um, their reasons for behaving the way that they have before in the past they want acceptance from you they don't want to be rejected by you guys but they are hurting this person is definitely hurting over not um, being involved with you guys anymore okay so that is what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you guys soon namaste